everyone, it's your favorite Gossip Girl back with some juicy news. Courtney and Kim have had the worst feud lately, and it starts like the sisters keep getting drifted apart. Courtney just can't put up with Kim's antics anymore, and Kim K has been pushing Courtney for all sorts of things. But the worst part came when Courtney announced her pregnancy. She thought that her sister would be over the moon, but Kim's reaction shocked everyone. Make sure to watch this video till the very end to find out how Kim reacted in the worst way possible to Courtney's pregnancy announcement. It's really, I think when you find love that, you know, you can't live without and there's still a, a chance. She's in her early 40s. I think they definitely want to see what life would be like with a baby and they share their whole story and have been super open. And I think people really want to see like how cute they are and how much they make out. Kim and Courtney aren't known to be best friends. In fact, Kim has been known to take some pretty mean digs at Courtney over the years. How could we forget Kim's infamous lines to Courtney were the least excited to look at? And if being mean and a legit physical fight wasn't enough, the sisters are now publicly humiliating each other. The momager has tried everything to make the sisters get along, but it just seems that Kim keeps pushing Courtney's button. A lot of people are now saying that Kim Kardashian is actually jealous of Courtney and she doesn't want her to have a life better than Kim. What has it been like to be on the path to baby with Travis? Um, I think it's been, I mean, it's a beautiful thing that we'd love to have happen, um, but you know, the journey is a bit hard for any women who have been on it. And emotional. Mm -hmm. Courtney has everything now, a loving and very rich husband, a career, and above all, she has become the modern day fashion icon. Most people could even say that Courtney is a lot more relevant than Kim now. And Kim Kardashian has been going through kind of a rough patch lately. After parting ways with Kanye, she's been drifting from one partner to the other but hasn't really settled down. Her romance with Pete Davidson seemed pretty legit, but it went down the drain too. And now it seems like Kim just can't find a loyal person. She's even struggling to stay on top of pop culture, and people think she's doing everything just to stay relevant. So when Courtney announced that her perfect life was getting even better by having a baby, Kim Kardashian reportedly had a fit. And why not? She's always been known to steal the spotlight from Courtney. For instance, Court and Barker had the most lavish wedding in Italy, and it was sponsored by Dolce & Gabbana. It was better than any wedding Kardashians have ever done, and yeah, the list is very long. But the thing is, Kim didn't mind stealing the thunder from her sister at her wedding, too. Courtney opened up about it when she was talking to Kendall. She said that she was deeply hurt because she felt like her sister used her. It's not about business. It's just there's so much and it takes precedence over hurting your sister. It's just legit copying my wedding because it's the deeper thing that it's about. It's grabbing whatever's in the way. It's like such an abundance or like an excess, like it's never enough. Court's wedding was a very personal thing, and Kim was thinking about ways to cash off her big day all along. It sounds twisted and borderline sociopathic. What happened was Courtney's sponsors, Dolce & Gabbana, were doing the best work at her wedding, and Kim was reportedly presenting them with business proposals, which is why only four months after Courtney's wedding, Kim did a full-blown collaboration with DNC. And the worst part is, Kim didn't even take permission from her sister or even told her before signing the deal. Courtney felt betrayed because she knew her sister had so many opportunities to collaborate with DNC in the future, but she still decided to pick Courtney's big moment. Court even said that Kim and DNC didn't just do a collaboration, but they added all the themes that were in Courtney's wedding, so they were basically copying everything about her big day. Courtney said that she didn't find out about the deal from her sister at all. Momager Kris Jenner asked the sisters to promote Kim's new collaboration, and Chloe then told her that it was with the people who did Court's wedding. Courtney was devastated and felt so betrayed. She wasn't happy at my wedding. She could never like give acknowledgement of like, whoa, this is so amazing. You were there, you weren't happy. Everyone said something to me, all my friends. They were all like, she's like spiraling. The Kardashian sisters have been trying to show a picture-perfect life over the last few years, and just when you feel like all feuds between them are gone in thin air, Courtney pops up and pretty much exposes her sister. She talked about it to her sisters and said that they were planning on doing a whole show around her wedding and not revealing everything beforehand. Kim knew about it, and yet she decided to move on with the DNC deal, which had a lot of elements from Court's wedding, so when the show finally came, most statement pieces were looking a little repetitive after seeing Kim's collaborative line. Courtney said that she's never been treated with respect by Kim because if it was her who did something like this, Kim would freak out. 
and she even told her sister that if Court collaborated with DNC, she wouldn't have cared if Kim had collaborated with them right after. But her wedding wasn't a business deal, and the fact that Kim made it all about herself wasn't just hurtful, but also very disturbing. Kim obviously didn't say much about Courtney's comments, and insiders report that Kim didn't want a collection so close to her sister's wedding either, and she tried to push it as far as she could. But Dolce & Gabbana wanted to collaborate ASAP, and that's why Kim had to do it. People are pointing out that Kim could have just asked DNC to do the collaboration the next year, but she basically used the hype around Courtney's wedding to push her collection and mint millions. Also, Kim also revealed that she tried not to copy any of the looks from Courtney's wedding, although she loved the whole lace and Madonna vibe. Well, that's mighty gracious of Kim, but the thing is, Courtney is still pissed, and Kim is only adding fuel to the fire by calling her diva of all divas. People think that Courtney's reaction is justified because she wanted her wedding to be all about her. And now that Courtney is having yet another big day after so long, her sister is showing her true colors yet again. People are pointing out that Kim's reaction wasn't the best at the pregnancy announcement, and that she should have been a little more enthusiastic, considering how Court has been trying to get pregnant for so long now. She even went through the IVF process for months and it didn't work for her. People continued to troll her on the internet, and she defended it by saying that she had quit IVF because it was ruining her mental and physical health. She even said that people believe IVF is the safety net, but it could actually mess with your brain and would bring you to the verge of anxiety and panic. This surely doesn't sound like a treat, especially for someone who has to be in the public eye all day. She got so hopeless that she quit IVF and just started tracking her cycle. Travis and Court really needed a baby, and you would assume that when the day finally comes, the Kardashian family will be overjoyed. But it doesn't seem like they're giving a lot of importance to the pregnancy. Her anxiety, combined with some pretty serious family feud, even made Courtney celebrate Easter with Travis and her kids in a separate house while all the Kardashians were at one house. It seems like the crack between Courtney and her family can't be filled with sweet talk anymore, and the momager might take a hit for this one, as she's really concerned about the future of the Kardashian brand. Kim K has also been estranged from Courtney in the past few months and has thrown a major shade at her, but she actually reacted to Court's pregnancy announcement. She wrote on her Instagram, Congrats, we're having a Kravis baby. But people thought that the announcement could have been a little more enthusiastic, and Kim should have been with her sister while she was revealing her pregnancy to Travis during his concert. Kim currently seems to be pretty much single and is matchmaking for her sisters and focusing on her skincare and loungewear brand. It's probably why she isn't even pretending to be happy for her sister. People are trolling Kim left and right for not being a supportive sister and for using her sister for her own profit. And Court's sister has remained neutral amid all this, which has got to hurt. Courtney talked to Kendall about it, and she also took the high road and didn't say anything against Kim, while Kylie also said that she doesn't consider any one of them wrong. But she did say that the wedding was special for Court, so Kim should have at least respected that. The momager is yet to comment on the matter, but she's known to play favorites, so she's definitely not going to talk in favor of Courtney. It seems like the Kardashian clan is sidelining Court because she just doesn't want to keep up with their crap anymore. So, do you think Courtney will actually part ways with her family? Tell us in the comments! Also, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to stay on top of celebrity gossip. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, adios from our side.